There you go. A grand haul was eight dollars for everything. Call that a bargain. All right, gonna do some estate selling today. I'll keep you updated. We'll go inside and we'll, let's have a look around. Yeah, there was nothing in there. I got a list here, so I'll scratch that one off my list. Yeah, uh, absolutely shit in there. So anyway, where do I go next? Well, the next one's only a couple miles away, so uh, what do you say we uh, hit that one? Better. Yeah, I passed a sign. It said rummage sale, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick detour and see if I can shuffle my feet through this rummage sale, see if we can't find something cool. There's a garage sale. I, I spied that was going by, a lot of garbage there. I could just see what they got put out in the front there. If that's showcasing what they have in their garage sale, that's a fail. That kept me away. It was like mosquito repellent. So anyway, we'll have a look at this rummage sale. Beautiful day. Sunny, 50 degrees. The leaves are falling all around. Nice. There was nothing in there. The church. I figured it might be a church, but there was a lot of space for a rummage sale. A lot of stuff in there, but nothing I was looking for. So, off to another estate sale so I could scratch that off my list. All right. If I see anything interesting, I'll fire the camera up. Otherwise, I won't even bother. All righty then. So I've been in estate sales all day long, as you guys just saw. That what I was doing, running in and out. I've been to quite a few estate sales today, and I really didn't find anything except for the little snippet you saw in the back of my car. Well, all that stuff cost me eight bucks. But let's get a really good close look at what we actually found for eight dollars. So. Nintendo console. Don't know if it works. I really don't. And of course, we got nine cartridges to go with it. Again, haven't tested any of this at all yet. Let's see here. We have the Blaster Master. Of course, the proprietary Duck Hunt Mario. And uh, forgive me if I have no glasses. Gotcha, the sport. Spy Hunter. Yeah, Spy Hunter. And Simon's Quest. Double Dragon. I remember playing this at the arcade a lot. Not on Nintendo, though, but at the arcade. Oh, Contra. In fact, I think I did a review on the neck of figures of this. I'm not sure if I did that or not. I know I own them. I don't know if I reviewed them. Maybe that's in the future. Contra. Super Mario Brothers 2. And. I'm going to read this one. Oh, got to get my glass right here. Wood and Water Rage. Oh, yeah. There you go. Looks like uh, Donkey Kong's on a surfboard right there. So, yeah. Definitely part of the Mario family. All right. That's that little section. I'll keep this handy. Little Hot Wheels garage from, uh, I think I found a date on here of 1973. I'll clean it up really good and I'll display at least one, two, three, four, five, well, ten Hot Wheels. Very cool. And uh, this here needs to be uh, oiled, but listen, it doesn't want to fall. Because you get a little oxi oxide in that uh, metal rod, it doesn't want to fall on its on, all its own. So if you take a piece of 4 out steel wool, that'll polish that up really nice. And that needs to be clean. That's kind of nasty. Everything in here was nasty. I, I, I bought a Toy Biz Radio Control Batmobile. And uh, the thing was covered in dirt. And it's going to take some work to get, uh, to get it going, I'm sure. Because the batteries were left in it. And uh, this was pre... Duracell dating the batteries so they've been doing that since the 90s so yeah it's still filthy I haven't touched it but none of uh, the batteries were exploded in this the battery covers gone from the handle but lucky for me it's a 9 volt so that's not a problem 
Again, I don't know if this works, but we will find out. Just not today. All right. Now, I got a box of action figures here. Eh, you know, there might be some, uh, like, this is uh, Masters of the Universe. And he has this little rolling dial here. You guys are going to be familiar with this. But he's very loose. But you can see this. Yeah, I mean, he, he's missing his medallion there. But uh, you know what? Eight bucks. So you consider each one of these pennies a piece. Then we have a Kenner. Lex Luthor missing an arm. I'm sure these things are all going to be missing something. He had another action feature here because there's a push button on the back. I'm not familiar with this. But there's definitely a push button there. So yeah. See? But he's also got this one. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We bad. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, this here, I'm not sure what he's from. Oh, look at this. The running man is what he is. Yeah. He's got this big monster dial. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure what he's from. Oh, wait. There is a marking here. So. KFE. KFS. I don't know what that means. But I'm looking for a manufacturer. And uh, all I see is KF. Oh, wait. There's, a, there's an insignia. Right there. Pardon me. Man, that's what happens. When you go on estate sales. At the end of the day, when you finally come home, all of that old dust and stuff, that's right up in your note. You know? Whew. That's why these are all have to be washed down with soap and water. You know? Whew. So anyway, hey, check this out. I found Cringer's saddle. No Cringer. But you know what? It's a saddle. And somebody may need a saddle out there. And I hate to see this thing tossed in the garbage. This, I, I consider myself, you know... Preserving toy parts like this. Somebody may have that battle cat without this saddle. And that's really disheartening. And this is a 1991, I think I read. 19. This is just old Burger King toy, that animated series. Here we go. Yeah, I think it says Burger King. 1993. I don't know, that was in the box. That'll probably go right in the garbage. This is from Thundercats. I'm not familiar with this line, but I had my son look it up. And uh, he's also the... You know, it makes me wonder if that other stud is from Thundercats, too. I don't know. Because he's got that same type of running action right there. See that? Yeah, it is, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the figure... You know what? I'll be proud to put that, display that in my toy. I mean, he's a big figure. I think they got a, another one from Thundercats right here. He's got that same feature. There we are. They all got that. That's right. They're a little out of sync, aren't they? Yeah. So anyway, I'm not familiar with this line at all. But you know what? I think he's a really cool looking pig. So, yeah. Let's see here what's going on. Yeah. It just got standard. Yeah. Okay. I think he had an additional feature as well. And I'll tell you. There's a little metal spot down here. I don't know if you guys know. Leave a comment below. But there may have been another attachment. An accessory that went with that. But man, this, this figure is in great condition. It really is. I'm just now getting a good look at these things. And uh, so far, and I think my son told me what he was from. It's interesting. These so toys are so old, but yet my son, who is yet fo just 14, made in Macau. It's a 1986, I don't know. 
what is it? Uh, it's a silver hawk. For it's silver hawk for. I think. It says telepix. Anyway, he's got a feature. He's in his chrome is in fantastic condition, and his joints are actually quite. Uh, there, you gotta squeeze his legs together. Again, I'm not familiar with this guy either, but he does have an insignia. Yeah, well, he's got a green triangle with a falcon coming out of the triangle on his breast there. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that either. But you know what? His chrome is enough to make me want to display him. Then we have a Toy Biz Batman. And he works. What do I what do I mean he works? Well check this out. Pull out his grapnel and uh there he goes. So yeah, he still works. Very cool. And they kind of try to disguise it in there as part of his utility belt. But yeah, that'll be another one that'll go on display somewhere. I'm Batman. Uh forget his name but I don't know his his move is just about worn out this is a Kenner superpower am I saying that right Kenner superpower this is from the early 80s let me just check that real quick I just want to get accurate information here I can't see nope I cannot see maybe there's not a visible marking on here Cameraman is telling me check between his legs. I thought he was telling me something nasty. Yeah, it says 1986 Kenner. So yeah. Anyway, his his feature was this. It's supposed to be spring loaded like so. Sometimes it works fantastic, but obviously it's just plain worn out. So we'll set him aside there. And again, this is one of those uh, heroes that I don't know because guess what? I had my heroes that I followed and these weren't one of them. But anyway, they all have these action features. This one had the action feature too, but it's kind of worn out so you kind of get his legs to cross. He's got that outward punch. Anyway, moving right along. Kenner superpowers. And he's all happy. He's the running man. More Kenner superpowers. He's got one of those house haircuts. House party. Yeah, house party all night long. Yeah. Jump around. <laughs> and we have Robin. What does he got? Oh, he's got the Robin chop. I dropped the boy blunder and the Joker. He's missing his tails. But a good figure to, to display. Green Lantern, of course, from the superpowers. Let's see what Dig is on here, too. This is a 1984. So, yeah, let me check this real quick. Make sure. This one here is also 1984. So obviously they have several lines going here. So yeah, the Green Lantern. He seems like he works pretty well. Uh, oh, and of course the Penguin. He's got that too. I have this Penguin and he's also missing his tails. And his umbrella, I know for a fact. But he's in great condition. The paint is fantastic. Very nice. I also have this in black. I believe that was from the Kenner... Uh, I don't remember. Eh, memory's not so good anymore. And then I found this strange helmet. Not exactly sure what that goes to. But I was just putting it in the box. I was just gathering up every toy I could find and just throw it in a box, whether it was parts or action figures or whatever. And here is an LJN. This is almost all die cast. I mean, his joints are really nice. His head's a little looser than the rest, but you know what? It holds a spot when you put it. Uh, where you where you want it, and he he really has some nice action 
poses too. You can really get him in some nice action poses. But yeah, he's mostly all die cast. Great looking figure. Again, these were past my time, you know? In the mid 80s, I was out doing other things. I wasn't collecting toys. I, I didn't get back to collecting toys till the 90s. The last toy interest I really had, honestly, was probably Kenner Star Wars from the first movie. And I didn't really have a lot of bleed over into uh, Empire Strikes Back. Just a few figures, but I wasn't into toys at that time. So he's got one little loose joint there, and I think that could actually be rectified. It can, because uh, I say it can. Great figure. So we'll set him aside right there. And here is, I think, the really coolest one. This is a complete... With, with the exception of his weapon. This is a Gen 1 Hasbro Takara Transformer. This is nice. Everything works. Everything is fantastic on this guy. And I have a Grimlock from Gen 1 from Dinobots. And I'll be more than proud to actually display him. You know, along with... Let's turn him back into the plane that he should be. So... Flip up like so. Arms down. I think I, I've done this a couple times practicing. Because sometimes these things kick my ass. You know? There. I think these might need to go back like so. And these need to be pushed in like so. But yeah, he's fast. He works quick. Very nice. Swing wing. Very cool. Complete. Not broken. You know, it's really sharp. Let's see where this thing is made. Because I'm curious now. Uh, Macau. At that time. 1987. Hasbro. Takara. Very cool. Maybe you can see that. I will... I doubt you're going to see that, but you can try. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's been my estate sale finds for the day. Not much, but I didn't spend a lot either. Eight bucks for all that fun. Woohoo! So I'll get this stuff all cleaned up and I'll find places to display some of this stuff. Hey, if anybody needs any of that in this lot, like this saddle here, you know, that would have ended up in a landfill, leave a message below, please. You know, because that needs to go someplace where it needs to go. All right. Home up.